And your name? Single and available. Single and available? Yes, single and available. Will I have your drink ready? Single and available? That's me. That's me. I'm single and available. I'm single and available if anybody wants to know. You can stop me if you want. Oh, thank you. I was I was trying to Okay, I'm going to I'm going to go now. Okay, I will. Thank you. I will. Okay, I'm single and available though. All right, okay. POV, you fly to Italy and piss off every single Italian. people say that wheelchairs are only for people who need them because when they say that what they mean is wheelchair users are for people who are paralyzed but not everyone who is a wheelchair user who uses a wheelchair who needs a wheelchair is paralyzed because if you're gonna do away with wheelchairs for anyone who has the physical ability to stand for like a couple seconds I think we should do away with strollers because toddlers can stand they can walk, they can walk pretty far actually. If you hold their hand, they can get around fine. You know why we use strollers? Because we do need them, we need them. You cannot tell me that we do not need strollers. And we use strollers for kids who are pretty big, right? Four, five, six years old. You're using a stroller because kids get tired. Their muscles are underdeveloped, just haven't gotten the chance to grow yet. And you know what? Some adults need strollers too. And that stroller is a wheelchair. So get the fuck over it. We're not in a mass wheelchair shortage, okay? What is your commitment to making disabled people and fat people suffer all the time? If an accessibility tool makes your life easier, you should fucking use it. Because life fucking sucks, okay? And if it makes a difference between you going outside and not going outside, use the fucking wheelchair and go outside because life is so fucking short. And if you really cared about people's health, you would know that going outside is better for your health and well-being than not going outside. And being able to live independently can mean the world's difference to somebody. Because that independence can mean getting to the doctors regularly, or going to the grocery store, or going to be able to pick up your meds. If you actually- Y'all, I'm with the Suicide Squad. Oh my god, I didn't know the fucking- You're ugly. Kill yourself. Period. I'm with the Suicide Squad. I think that you should just be a slut and like <laughs> just have a bunch of boyfriends and like tell them about each other so you don't have to hurt people. If you see people making jokes about the submarine and it's making you a little upset, I want you to know that you should be upset. You should be upset, but I, I don't want you to stop there. I don't want you to stop at being upset that there are some folks that are laughing at another human being's despair. I want you now to ask the next question. Right. Don't get intellectually lazy now. Ask the next question. What could have possibly happened in this these last 100 years to create a condition where millions of working class people have almost no empathy for a billionaire in despair? What could have happened? It can't just be that poor people are just angry and jealous. Like, don't get don't get intellectually lazy. Now you ask the question, go all the way, figure the whole thing out. Where could this lack of empathy come from? Maybe is it, could it be that poor and middle class, lower class people see the wealth that their labor creates being profiteered on at near oligarchy levels? So much so that they themselves are paywalled from the very things that their labor is supposed to provide them, like healthcare, like education, like access to education. Their living conditions are being commodified to, to such an extreme level that they don't even know if they can live in the places that they grew up in. And all of this is happening at the hands of millionaires and billionaires that are taking too much from what they're not creating. Could it be that? 
We literally just went through a global pandemic and watched millionaires and billionaires on corporate earning calls brag about raising the prices of basic goods to rake in record pro profits when we needed them the most. You're seeing these jokes online and you think that people are not nice, but the truth is people are not dumb. Large corporation CEOs and billionaires fight tooth and nail. They hire lobbyists after lawyer after politician to make sure that the minimum wage stays exactly where it is as these large corporations grow exponentially inside based off of the labor of the people that they refuse to pay a living wage. You are never going to find empathy out of those people. Why'd you punch my girlfriend? I didn't. You have it on camera. You stuck your arm out. I have it on camera. I have it on camera. You don't punch. You know what? I'll beat the out of you. You assault people. You're gonna punch my girlfriend. I got it on camera. You know what? I'm going to the house. You don't move. I'm going to punch you. You punch my girlfriend. Don't let it. You're gonna assault her. Hey girl, so there's this guy right here. Let's do the exploding egg prank on my husband. So apparently if you microwave a hard boiled egg, it explodes when you cut it. But we're just gonna let him figure that out the hard way. I don't even think I know how to do this. Okay, what do I do? Ah. Okay, we're gonna try that again because I literally dropped it. I just want you to cut this. What? I just want you to cut it. Why? Where are you going? <laughs> I just want you to What are you doing? Just cut it. Just cut it? Just be careful. Why? Just be careful. You're being weird. Ah! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Wait, that was... Oh my gosh, it's everywhere, Jess. Oh, I had a heart attack! Bro! Whoa! Jessica! It's over here! What did you do to that egg? <laughs> The, the How state lost it. Man, he's where? My property. He's Man. leaving. He doesn't live here. He can't leave until I move, but I'm not ready to I, move. I wasn't here, but for thirty call seconds, I walked in to call pick him. up my daughter. Call here, call. You're not supposed to stand or park in somebody's driveway. You Ma are It's in front of a building. I did not know. You don't my see car the was running. Drive. My car was running the entire time. No, but I leased that. Okay, okay. that's fine. We but didn't know what that. What apartment do you live in? Don't worry about it. I did not know. I did not know. I didn't park in a handicap. You don't know. My car was running the whole time. I was here for less than two minutes. So I can go to your I, house. I and walked park in. in. Ma'am, I already no, apologized. I already apologized. And what you're saying, don't ma'am you. I'm trying to be respectful. I'm not doing anything else. I'm trying to back out. I picked up my daughter. I was here for two minutes. Okay, I've been parked for five. So you have. Ma'am, you have not been parked for five. You have not. He just got here to pick up his daughter How long from my house. A couple minutes, right? A couple minutes is two, which is what I said I was parked here for. Here. That's not five. Man, I'm leave? trying to leave. Well, I'm so you trying want to get home. So get home then. Well, you're I can't here. because you're, you're in my way. You're in my way. I want to back up. You being a kid. This is my property. It's, this whole complex is not your property. I'm no, not trespassing. I leased this garage. Okay, and, and that's why. And I'm trying to move. You, to move you shouldn't have been You're being there in the first place. Do you not understand? All right. For two minutes, he can't pick up his daughter? No, that's not a parking right, spot. Right. Okay. Can you move? And, and you're not in a parking spot. You're actually partially out in the fire lane. So let, let's be on that. How about we do that? No, you're entitled. That's right, because I'm white. We rule. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yo, that's you. That's you. That's you, right? Yeah, come on. Miss anybody right now? Is there anybody particularly in your mind right now? Um, I do miss my boyfriend. 
miss your boyfriend yeah. okay where is he where has he been he actually left town for a, for like a little while for a family emergency and there's like no sign of when he's gonna come back oh so how long has he been out for like almost a month already almost a month oh sure so how do you how do you feel about him being gone i mean it's sad like i always spend my time with him like almost every day and it's like i so I'm, okay no i feel that so how much do you love him on a scale of one to ten Surpassed him. Surpassed him. Okay, but so, so, what would you do if, say, like he was here right now at the pier today? I would be shocked and happy because it's actually my birthday today. And it's oh, it's your birthday. birthday. Okay, happy birthday. Thank All right, bet. So, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, you might have to turn around for yourself. Juneteenth is, excuse me, what's happening to the white people? They have a black Miss America. They have a black college. They have a black month. What do we have? And now they have Juneteenth. Yes, I understand there was slavery. Don't get me wrong. But there was also a Holocaust. And that was more recent than slavery. But you don't hear the Jews saying, gimme, 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 gimme. What's the point of Juneteenth? What is it? I don't know. Good evening. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Kennedy Center. And we look forward to a wonderful evening with Secretary Blinken and also with the Prime Minister of India, Shri Modiji. <laughs> really? Save me. Thank <laughs> you. 